There's a debate brewing over whether hip-hop radio stations should stop playing rap music by Ye, the rapper formerly known as Kanye West. The conversation has been a good one because I've had more yays we should continue playing his music compared to the nays. That topic was sparked by a series of comments and social media posts by Ye. His Twitter account was suspended this morning after Elon Musk said it violated the platform's rules of inciting violence. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avenue is joining us live after speaking to a local hip hop radio station DJ, getting some more perspective on this topic and this debate, Eric. Yeah, based on the people that we spoke with, I mean, based on the people who called into that radio station, uh, it appears that this really comes down to race within a predominantly African-American hip hop culture. Uh, there are folks who don't like what Ye is saying and posting. However, they love his music. And at the same time, uh, there are folks who say no matter what, they cannot turn their back on a fellow black man. And we talking about Kanye West, man. Should we continue to support his music? Here at 93.3 The Beat, listeners were calling in to give their thoughts on that question. This topic is the result of a series of anti-Semitic comments and online posts by Ye, or the rapper formerly known as Kanye West. No, we should not. No, we should not. If you support it, I mean, you support those of you. Do I think y'all continue to play Kanye West? As a 61-year-old black man, I say keep playing him. Radio personality T-Roy says listeners have their own reasons for or against supporting Ye's music on the airwaves. A lot of people are just like, yo, he needs mental help, or he just needs to, he needs therapy, or he needs this, that, and the other. But when it comes to their music, his music, they're still supporting his music. Although some radio stations across the U.S. announced that they will not play Ye's music, iHeartRadio, the company that owns 93.3, will continue to play his rap songs until they are told otherwise. T-Roy says an overwhelming majority of listeners want Ye's music to stay on air. I thought more people would be like, hey, I don't want to play, don't play Kanye, I don't want to hear him, I don't want to, which we call it, but the response has been the total opposite. So to me, it's been kind of shocking. Why do you think so? Why do I think so? The biggest thing that's came up has been race. Everybody said he's a black man. We need to support him as a black man. T-Roy says he's been advising listeners who feel that way to take race and color out of the picture and actually listen to some of the things Ye has said about Jews and why he liked Hitler. And when you listen to what he's really just saying, do you agree with it or do you not agree with it? And when you say that to people, some people can't even, ex can't even give me an answer right then. They, they take a second or two to think about what I just said. T-Roy says at the end of the day, people who love Ye's music may be okay with it still on the radio, but that does not mean they may want to support him by going to one of his concerts. Now, it's also worth mentioning that right before you guys came to me live, uh, there was an African-American mom who uh, works in this restaurant here, and she came out and asked her, like, what is the news about? What do you guys say? I said, oh, we're talking about the controversy uh, surrounding Ye. And she said, I, she said, well, I have to tell you that this morning, uh, my son uh, turned some of that music on, and I made him turn it right back off. She said that I didn't want it playing in my vehicle. She said, because he went too far. She said, Ye simply went too far. Back to you.